That was River Runs Red by Life of Agony off of their 1993 album, River Runs Red. This album is a concept album dealing with suicide. We're listening to that today because we have a song from Nirvana from 1993 up in competition today. Hi, my name is Bean and you're watching Battle of the Band. We're on day 41 of the Nirvana tournament today, and that is match two in round two. If you're new here and you're wondering what the Nirvana tournament is, let me fill you in. We took every single Nirvana track and we threw them into a single elimination style tournament. Now they're doing battle and head-to-head -head competition until we have one remaining in the end, and that's the very best song that Nirvana made. And released. Uh, we are only doing one version of each song. I don't want to go through doing each demo version of everything. We're doing a studio version and then we're doing a demo if there's a demo and no studio version and we're doing a live version if there's no demo version and no studio version and there's only a live version. We are doing two versions of Polly because I love New Wave that came out on Incesticide but that's it. We're going to be starting off today with Radio Friendly Unit Shifter. Radio Friendly Unit Shifter came out in 1993 on In Utero, Nirvana's final album. Last round, Radio Friendly Unit Shifter defeated Love Buzz, a cover of Shocking Blue's Love Buzz that was released on their very first album, 1989's Bleach. Its competition today is Aneurysm. Aneurysm was recorded in 1991, but released in 1992 on Incesticide. Kind of a collection of oddities while fans wait for another album to come out, I guess. It was pretty awesome. I love Incesticide. Last round, Aneurysm defeated Help Me I'm Hungry. So Aneurysm defeated Hunger. Let's go ahead and get into these songs. Here's Radio Friendly Unit Shifter.
I love Radio Friendly Unit Shifter. That is one of my favorite tracks off of In Utero, and it's one of the reasons I love In Utero a bit more than I love Nevermind. It's fucking loud. There's feedback everywhere. The vocals don't even really... They're not that catchy, you know? They're kind of catchy. If you can deal with all the rest of the shit going on, I fucking love it. Let's check out Aneurysm. <laughs>
I forgot to mention that motherfucker was originally released as the B-side to Smells Like Teen Spirit. So if you have that single, you've got enough fucking incredible single on your hands. Fuck, that's good. I don't know what to pick. I'm gonna have to, like, you know, get back with you guys on that. Three days later. I'm gonna have to go with aneurysm for the win today. Um, it did every single thing that Radio Friendly Unit Shifter did, but it did it in a more catchy way. Aneurysm is fucking incredible. I love that song. All the crazy guitar they fit in there, and the just really simple lyrics they stick in your brain. The scream, the unhinged scream that he, uh, that Kurt emits in that song, and then just right before singing, she keeps it pumping straight to my heart. It's so good. I'm glad that Incesticide was one of the first albums that I picked up from Nirvana because it placed that a bit more into my heart. <laughs> it, it keeps Nirvana pumping into my heart. Um, I love In Utero and uh, like Radio Friendly Unit Shifter is one of my favorite tracks off of that album and it sucks to cut it in the second round but aneurysm is that fucking good i think aneurysm is going to go pretty far on this tournament like this video if you like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already share it with anyone you know who might be into this kind of content and let me know down in the comments which of these two songs you would have picked if it were you in the hot seat today that's all the nirvana tournament action we've got going for the day but please join me tomorrow when we get down to some more nirvana and magnetic fields term in action until then i hope you all have a great night fantastic afternoon and a wonderful morning thanks for watching bye but what the fuck were those vocals <laughs> It was weird.